Welcome to this uh, second video where I will be continuing on my camera stand build. Thank you. And in this video I will be I will be working on the moving that's still rude. On the moving parts I will have a glider to move the camera up and down going along these pipes and articulating arm to move it uh, forward backwards and uh, sideways. I've already started preparing some of the parts. But this part will not be used, it's uh, just a template for demonstration purposes and for testing my creation. What I will be using is this uh, pipe. It's a bit wider than the stand, so it goes uh, on the outside of the stand. And as you can see, it's a bit too wide. And, uh, I don't want to have metal against metal either, so I have 3D printed these, uh, I call it, end caps that goes on the outside uh, or on the inside of this uh, pipe and on the outside of the stand. And this is a sliding piece. And uh, this is the other one, it has a stop screw here at the, the, on the side. Made a separate video on how I made this one, so I can lock it into position. Now I can uh, loosen this and I can slide this up and down, but of course I need to connect them. So this is going to be one piece. I've made these uh, brackets that I'm going to weld on to here. And I have this as the center axle. So let me put everything together and you can see how it uh, works. If it's gonna work, who knows, because uh, yeah, this is more like a prototype. I'm not really sure if this is gonna work at all, but uh, if I'm lucky. On a real professional stance, this uh, would have been some kind of ball bearing stuff with uh, precision and smooth uh, movement, but I think uh, this might do it for me. Let's see. And here is the final piece. I just need to weld on these uh, brackets. This uh, center piece is welded uh, a nut on each end of a pipe, so I can rotate this. But it's quite uh, stiff because I put some tension on this before I welded it. So the nut at the end here has are pressed together and uh, have tension against the threads. And this makes it quite hard to rotate. And I hope that's useful because when I'm moving my articulating arm, I don't want it to be too loose sideways. Yeah, and uh, then I guess uh, the next thing is just to... Okay, the weld is done. So uh, now is the exciting first test. Of course, when I'm welding this, these uh, 3D printed uh, end caps probably melted. Um, yeah, so maybe everything is stuck now. So I will probably have to 3D print the new ones. Yeah, this should now be locked. I used this one just to get it, uh, hopefully, 90 degree angle. Okay. Uh, it's still hot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It works, it works. Wow. I'm also a bit concerned if, if this will be um, stable enough so it's not wiggling. And it seems very nice. 
and I can just lock it a couple of times with this. Ooh, uh, yeah, so far so good. Of course, I need. I will put on some more uh, welds here. This, these are the first one. I didn't dare to put on anymore because this will probably totally melt. But uh, seems like they survived. So uh, a bit more welding. And yes, these end caps are uh, damaged by the welding, so they are now completely loose. And uh, and uh, yeah, these end caps were uh, damaged by the welding, so now they are way too loose. Yeah, so I decided to make a new one, a slightly improved uh, design. They fit on like uh, this. And I've also prepared a hole here in the brackets with the threading. So I can uh, lock them into position in case they get weird and get loose later on. They At least they won't fall off. So this is an uh, improved design. I think this will work better. The next job is then to create the articulating arm. I have one here, just to show you. It's gonna work like this. And I thought for a second, maybe I could just buy one. A bit rugged one. But uh, this is a cheap model, like $10. And even though I'm tightening all the positions here, it's quite uh, loose. And I think if I'm going to buy something that is rigid uh, and sturdy and keeps uh, a heavy camera, probably expensive. So of course I'm going to build it myself, but I've used this, this one as a template. So I will be using these uh, aluminum pipes. They are 2 by 2 centimeters, uh, doubled the size compared to uh, this cheap one. And uh, I will have a bit more distance between them, so I hope this will be sturdy. I bought this uh, mounting nuts M6 and uh, the holes in my aluminum pipe and in my brackets fits. So this now goes in here like this. I also prepared some 3D printed, some uh, washers because I don't want metal against metal. So let me assemble it all. I have, uh, by the way, made a lot of these from a M6 uh, steel rod, cut them into suitable uh, length. I might just have a problem here, because I want to tighten this quite hard. So this is rigid, I don't want this loose. And I don't know how much this aluminum pipe can handle. If I tighten this too much, I'm afraid I will just squeeze it all together. And thanks to Peter Pensa for um, making me aware of this from a comment in my previous video. So, the idea is to put an end cap in here. So it uh, avoids this to be squeezed together. And I've 3D printed some parts here. I'm not sure how strong they are. They fit quite rigid. I pretty much solid infill, that means they are massive uh, plastic. I think I should test it. And I have this uh, torque wrench uh, that I can uh, use to measure the pressure, how much I can put on before they start to squeeze together. I don't want to destroy this one by testing it. So I have a smaller piece, a uh, similar piece of uh, aluminum, and I've created a similar end cap uh, to put in here. So, yeah, I will uh, do a check, see if uh, one end has uh, just open hole, pressed together, see how much it can stand, the other one. I will put in this uh, cap here and see if it helps.
I think it's safe to say that uh, this worked. On this side, where I had no support, the wall started to collapse at around 40 kilo per centimeters. Uh, 50, it was really a curve. I pushed it to 100 and now it's uh, quite flat. While uh, where the cap is, no problem. I pushed it to 140. I think that's uh, perhaps more than the threads on this M6 bolt uh, are made for. I'm not sure really, but uh, it was pretty hard. I won't never push it that far. So this worked absolutely. It's time for uh, assembly, except, of course, I need to weld the main bracket onto the glider. So, uh, yeah, a bit of welding and then I'll put it all together. Okay, I have some bad news and hopefully some good news. First problem, of course, when I welded on this bracket, the tension I had here disappeared. Makes sense. You weld, metal expand, so the tension I had here on these nuts on this centerpiece is gone. So it's now very loose. I don't like it. I need to figure out some way uh, of uh, making this uh, have some resistance so when I move it it's just not like this. When it comes to the arm itself, I haven't really tested it before now. It seems to be quite sturdy. Maybe a bit too tight. Uh, I have to figure out if I have tightened these bolts a bit too much. But yeah, I also added this nut here with the handle so I can lock this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I am not able to move it now. This is the arm extended all the way. And then I can move just the way I want. And it feels quite rigid, like the arm itself. <laughs> of course, it's loose that way, but when I'm trying to bend it here, yeah, it, it seems to be working as I would like. So, not only bad news, let me try to move it up and down. This works uh, just fine, just as I want it. And this one goes all the way to the floor if I want to shoot very low. Perfect. Let me put on my camera. I've uh, made a bracket made out of steel. It's a bit heavy, should have been aluminum, make it lighter. I'll probably switch it out later. So this is just the first uh, test. So this goes on here. Pretty simple, just two bolts. And I thought it was best to have this uh, modular so I can put on whatever I want here. And I use this uh, ball mount here to put the camera on. Yeah, that works great. So uh, that's pretty much it. Let me try to put the camera up under the ceiling. See how easy it is to move it now.
This is just great. I'm so happy. This will save me so much time recording here in my garage instead of using the old tri tripod. So flexible, so easy, everything seems to work. I don't even have to lock it into position. Uh, and I have some improvements. It, I would like it to have even more smooth travel. I have tightened this quite much. So it stays put, but I want to put on springs here to, um, what should I say, anti-gravity springs to maybe then loosen up this, make it a bit smoother and hold it in place because of the springs and this counterweight I'm going planning on here. And I want to paint it and probably more minor adjustments. So I hope you will check in later, see how it goes and maybe some uh, real live footage also next time. Bye-bye.